fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. Always, it's a very special time. On the 13th of the month, we have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication, understanding, learning, but it more literally has to do with certain types of people in your life who are the siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And I have to say, I think that some Virgos are going to experience this energy in the context of the information you come by, what it is you come to learn, but many are going to experience this. In the context of these specific types of people, and this energy, whether you own it, it has to do with your relationship with them, or you project it onto them, well, yeah, it looks like those connections are likely to go through some shift, some change. And so this is a very active and interesting new moon, I do want to say. It is close in the sky to Mars. So there's an energy here of excitement and urgency and adrenaline. It's across the sky from Uranus. There's a huge wild card factor here, something coming out of nowhere. But then we also get these harmonious connections to Neptune and to Pluto. These are energies that I absolutely love. And so as we are uh, under the light of this new moon, you can see with these various characteristics, it is very possible now that there's some change in the life of one of these key types of people I just mentioned. A sibling, cousin, or neighbor behaves in a way uh, that feels unexpected, perhaps even feels erratic. Um, they may be behaving in a way that's uh, rash or impulsive. And the thing is, it's up to you to decide how you are going to engage or address it. And it looks like you're able to uh, interact with them on a level that at least allows you to feel uh, like you did what it is that was best to do. Um, I say that because as much as we have that erratic, quick-moving behavior, it might just be in their life. It might be something that you have to react to. The fact that we get that harmonious Pluto and Neptune, it tells me that there is faith, that there's a real sense of what can transform a situation for the better from the inside out and taking action from a place that you feel good about that ultimately does help support the bond in some way. Do be mindful of your interactions with these people as well. Uh, as much as this could have to do with what's happening in their life, it can also represent a time where uh, they are pushing your buttons or you are pushing theirs or they have a very strong reaction to something you say and you think you're being rather innocent or vice versa as well can take place. But again, we get to that harmonious Neptune and Pluto, which does suggest you sort it out. But yeah, there could be some very uh, strong responses that feel very unexpected, maybe even feel out of nowhere, even though they do find a way to get addressed. Now, outside of these specific relationships, this part of the sky has to do with synchronicity, being in a certain place at a certain time, connecting with a certain person. And it can make a big difference. Now, that difference doesn't necessarily mean all is easy and breezy, I do want to say. Uh, and what I mean by that is I think that there's energy here that um, may initially feel uncertain or uncomfortable, uh, or again, that sense of buttons getting pushed, but then you're able to make sense of it. You're able to be better as a result of it. Um, this could be some truly unexpected events or developments in your neighborhood in particular, but again, you adjust. You're able to find the best way forward for you. Now, it is on the 27th of the month that we have this month's full moon. The full moon takes place at the top of your sky, having to do with career and with life purpose and your understanding of a higher, more loving vision for your life. So if you are on the career path, well, yes, this energy can play out that way very practically with bosses or opportunities and how they play out. But if you're not necessarily on the career path, maybe you're retired, well, then chances are this energy works out in ways that have more to do with your understanding of legacy and destiny and purpose navigating forward from here. It is a full moon. 
And full moons bring with them conclusion. They also bring with them a a truth, an emotional truth, if you will, that is hard to deny. And that is definitely the case with this particular full moon. It is opposite Mars. So there again is that sense of urgency and energy and adrenaline. But this is very different than the new moon we had earlier in the month. This is also squaring Saturn. The full moon is squaring Saturn. And that energy just changes everything because it is about restraint and patience. Um, It is about holding back as you might need to. It is about being wise as to the larger gains you're hoping to make. Uh, It is about having an understanding of delayed gratification, that there are certain things worth achieving that are, are worth holding back on, sacrificing for today. Because this is a full moon and it represents culmination and conclusion, yeah, it could be at this time that a certain career project or perhaps a certain understanding of what it is that your goals were, well, either you've done it uh, or it is not to be done. Um, It could come to a conclusion. You're working really hard. You're pushing through to bring a project to a close or you realize that, you know what, you don't want to be on this pathway that this no longer represents onward and upward to you. Uh, Your truth is going to be uniquely your own, but there is a sense here of needing to accept some sense of hard truth or hard facts. It's part of figuring out what it is that you really want to do next. It's part of aligning with that higher, more loving vision for your life. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we've got some interesting energies here. And the big thing I think is that on the eighth of the month, Venus will leave your sign and move into a part of the sky for you uh, that has to do with self-love and love and self-love become intimately tied for you now. I want you to take something else into consideration. And that is the fact that we are going to have uh, Saturn speaking very powerfully to that full moon late in the month. And Saturn, of course, is in your opposite sign of partnership. And so this understanding of destiny and legacy, how does a partner fit into that or not, might be part of the consideration now. For those of you open to meeting someone new, well, that Venusian energy, the first week of the month is amazing. Tap into it to your advantage. It tends to represent a time when you're just a magnet. Love is a way of just showing up for you that much more easily now. Um, However, once Venus changes signs, Keep in mind that love and money do not mix. Uh, It might be part of the consideration with new people that you're meeting in some way. Um, But also uh, keep in mind that with love and self-love being so intimately tied, whomever it is that you're meeting is in some way going to bring you back to that consideration, bring you back to that contemplation. And connections that are right are going to affirm a healthy sense of self-love in you. For those of you just starting to date somebody, well, the energy of Venus, first week, beautiful, sweet, right? Easy to attract into your life. However, once Venus changes signs, again, love and money do not mix. You want to be a little careful with that. Outside of needing to be careful, if you will, if that isn't a factor, well, yeah, does this person make you feel good about yourself? Do they affirm healthy self-value in you or not? That's going to be important for you to consider. The full moon, though, is really about thinking about whether or not there's a future here. Are you headed in the same direction together? If you are, this can be a strengthening of the bond. But if you aren't, this is where you're ready to switch gears, maybe go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. So in the context of established bonds, wow, we've got these beautiful energies playing out right now um, with Venus in your sign. I love that for you. It's that much sweeter and nicer uh, where it comes to your established bonds. The big important moment, though, is going to be that full moon. And so for some Virgos, It's just going to be a time when your partner helps you to get clear on what you're really going for. Um, It could also be a time when you and your partner are really asking some 
tough questions as part of aligning with larger goals that the two of you share. If it is that you felt for a while that maybe you're not in the right relationship for you, that stirs so strongly for you as you get late into the month as part of figuring out the best steps forward for you. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say um, I do love that uh, Venus is in your sign for the first week of this month. You'll be able to tap into that energy just beautifully and to your advantage. However, do keep in mind that uh, right out of the gate as we begin the month, it's more this Neptunian energy. I think there's going to be some confusion around love or maybe even around beauty. So just be patient there. But it is just before Venus leaves your sign, uh, right around the fifth or sixth, depending on where you are on the planet, we get this beautiful Venus Pluto energy that I think is going to be wonderful for you. Whether it is you're hoping to cultivate your unique beauty, uh, attract love, um, enjoy the earthly incarnation, uh, have pleasurable experiences, the possibilities truly become that much more amplified for you at that time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign at NadiaShawSuperstars.com for as long as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Thank you.